Rachel and Marsha Stephanie join us. Thank you so much. This film is fantastic. Congratulations on it. Rachel, I know you produced it. And we start out the show talking about people who do the darn thing on their own, taking this leap of faith. But this is a special project for both of you because you are close friends. And you took the jump as a producer, but ultimately needed each other to take it to the next level, Rachel. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I, I've said this to Marcia Stephanie a million times, but the very first time that I read the script, I couldn't picture anyone else. I think mm -hmm. one of one of the greatest joys of reading an amazing script is feeling like you can see the thing come to life in front of you. And Marcia Stephanie was the only Terry there ever could have been. And wow. she's so beautiful and brilliant in this movie. And hi, MSP. <laughs> 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 I love that because you could see and feel in the intensity of this drama the necessary chemistry needed to pull these characters off. And Marsha Stephanie, you know, at the heart of both of the journeys of these characters is that they are women trying to protect children in their lives. I don't want to give too much away, but it made me think of your role of in When They See Us. You were a mother desperately trying to protect her son. And at the end of the day, that's a common part of what bonds these women as they are on the run in this film. Yes, absolutely. I think this idea of, um, you know, as a mom, you can lift a car off your kid if your child is in danger. I think it, it was it, 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 sort of an idea before I had children. And now that I do have children, I know how real that is. Um, and so I been lucky enough now to play these roles as a mom where I can't imagine how much it would take for me to do insurmountable feats for my kids um, and just put them first and you can lift a car if you need to, you know? I, yeah, I've seen it. I've been in the news 30 years. I've seen stories of mothers and women do things that, I, 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 I not that, don't get me wrong, dads, we love you too, but there's something about what a mom and a woman can do when her back is against the wall. And Rachel, with this production, you are the producer here, and these two women, they do have their backs against the wall. And it really is about who are you at the end of the day when your choices run out? Yeah, absolutely. These are two women who, it turns out, have quite a lot in common and also a lot of differences. And they come together unexpectedly to... Uh, to save themselves and this yeah. chosen family that they've made together. And it's, uh, man, it's, it was a beautiful story on the page, and it's, it was an absolute joy. To because be the performances of. are so phenomenal, I wanted to have this, like, intellectual conversation about how great the film is, but I'm looking at how beautiful both of you are. And Marsha, Stephanie, you in this beautiful, you know, green, luminescent blouse over here. I have got to now pivot my whole note to talk about how gorgeous you both were on the run, particularly in this one scene where you are in your bedazzled disco 1970s Donna Summer jumpsuit and yes. how fun that must have been. And I'm not kidding. At first I said, I'm not going to ask them about the fashions. They are actors and they were phenomenal in this film. And then you both pop up looking gorgeous uh, for this interview. So what was it like, Marsha, giving some flashback fashion? Oh my gosh, so our costume designer, Natalie, Natalie O'Brien, um, is phenomenal. And she put me, for this, this scene that you're talking about, it's a club scene, it's one of my <laughs> favorites. She put me in this coat, that's a trench coat, I call it my Joseph coat of many colors. It has beautiful, like, warm colors, um, golds and mustards and, and, and earthy tones. Yeah. And there it is. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So what's crazy about this coat is it had matching boots. <laughs> and I think we ended up not wearing the boots for the film because it was just too much. It was too there's unlikely. Never that too, there's never too much pattern. Let me just tell you that. Uh, it was, but one of my favorite things to wear. I yeah. love it. And, and, Rachel, we know that Midge, your character on Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, it's all about the fashion and her journey. Yeah. I said in People Magazine, the first season got me through my pregnancy. I binged watch. Now here we are, season three finale. I know you're in production now. Are you, you're, you guys have started up? 
We just had our first table read yesterday, actually, and we are uh, we have a couple more, and then we're diving in next week if all goes according to plan. Well, I hope it goes as planned because we miss you. The cliffhanger there was Midge, you know, at the on the at the airport being left behind. Now yeah. more uncertain than ever before. Her husband has moved on. Life has left her behind. Give me something. Where is she going? Where's Midge? What happens next? Well, you know I can't <laughs> tell you what happens next. You had the table <laughs> read. Come on. You are, your Midge is almost my son Moses' godmother. Says the godmother <laughs> of my child. I need to know what happens to my friend Midge. <laughs> I do know a little bit about what happens now. And all I can say is that there, there's more stand-up. There are a lot of shenanigans with uh, with Midge and Susie, who Alex has lovingly dubbed, dubbed Smidge. <laughs> More Smidge shenanigans coming up, and that's about all. That. Great hats, insane hats. That's about all. Okay, I can say. <laughs> I'm gonna let you off the hook because you've agreed to babysit Moses. I'm gonna let you go on this, but you know what? Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on this movie. It is a thriller, and it lives up to all of the hype behind it. So glad to have you both on. Marsha, Stephanie, Rachel Brosnahan. Don't miss their new film. Congratulations again, ladies. I'm Your Woman. It is on Amazon now. Thank you.